Hi guys, Squall here. Welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. This is episode 3. And we're almost level 3. We're level 2. We're just a whisker off, uh, like 40 XP away from level 3. Let's go and have a look at what jobs we've got here. Uh, the last job we did, I think, was brakes and timing. We had a look at the timing side of things. Replace the camshaft and stuff. Uh, ooh, looks like we've got a rotary one. Mazda RX-7 rotary engine. That sounds like fun. Uh, this looks like a suspension problem, hard con to control. Let's take that. You can, of course, take more than one job if you want to. You can actually put one on the jack and then take another another job. So if this was a particularly interesting job, we could we could get it by putting the other car on the jack. But it's another brake problem, so we'll leave it. But what we will do, considering this is a uh, suspension problem, and we can't quite see what the problem is apart from that bit, though. We've identified one issue. And I think there's another... Actually, there's a couple of uh, end rods there that look like they're completely wrecked. Sway bar rear end, sway... Yeah, okay. So it looks like the game is basically hand-holding us a little bit at the moment. I was thinking about taking it out onto the track and, and figuring it out, but there's only three parts that need fixing, and I can basically see all three here. So in that case, let's just move the car straight onto the lifter, and uh, we'll pop it up on the on the ramp on the jack. And we'll sort it out. We're going to have to pop it all the way up. This poor thing. Look at the bodywork. Good grief. Somebody needs to give this car a bit of TLC. Okay, so if we pop into here, and then we go into... And we hover over that. There you go. Steering rack, 10%. And we know that the steering rack is one of the things that we have to replace here. So we're going to have to take both wheels off. To get at this thing, so let's pop over here. We'll pop this uh, RX-7 rim off. And uh, we're going to have to take the whole thing out of here. So we're going to take off that hubcap. And front wheel. Can we actually get it? Can we take this off without doing that? Actually, you know what? You know what? It looks like you don't even have to take the wheel off. Okay. I just learned something. We could actually left that wheel completely on. Let me see if I can click my way over here. Let's try that. Let's not take off the wheel. Let's just take off the... Oh, no, you do. You have to take the wheel off to remove the outer tie rod. But I could have left the actual wheel hub in. Good to know. Right, outer tie rod. Followed by the inner tie rod. Followed by the steering rack. Cool beans. Right, let me just quickly jump over to here. And we'll pop that wheel hubcap back in. Because we don't need we didn't need to take that out. So the only thing left of that is put the wheel back on. Right, now at the back end. I think it was the outer tie rods that were broken. Let me just have a quick look. There you go. Oh, sorry, the sway bar rear end link. That was the one that was broken. There you go. It's on 10%. So we've got to pop this wheel off. That 50% bonus to unscrewing is so nice. Oh my god, right. There we go. We'll just pop that out of there. And then we'll click our way to victory over here. In case, if, you've, if you happen to have bought this game and you're wondering why you don't have the Mazda, uh, when the game came out, it released with two DLCs straight away. One of them was the Mazda DLC, and the other one, I think, was a Dodge Charger or something like that. I ended up buying both of them, because I figured that we'd want to see them in the video. So this is why I've got the Mazda. This is an optional DLC. Uh, right, let's have a quick look. We need a steering rack and a sway bar rear end link, or rather two sway bar rear end links. Let's double check that. Yep. So we'll get the steering rack. Go into main here. Punching the word steer. And steering rack, $800. Ouch. And sway bar. Uh, let's see. Sway bar rear end link. Two of those. 
So when we level up, which we sh hopefully will do after this job, the first thing we're going to get is the 5% discount on the shop because when you're buying an item that's like $900, you know, saving yourself almost $50 is well worth doing. Right, let's go back to part mount and we'll pop this piece back on. Wheel back on. Let's get out of there, come around to this side. Part mount, stick that on. And pop the wheel back on. There we go. And then we'll come around here. And we'll start on this side. We'll go with the steering rack. The brand new steering rack. We'll stick on the two inner tie rods. So, and then we'll put the outer tie rod in. Drop in the wheel. Don't think we're going to get paid much for this one. Probably just a few hundred at best. But it's the XP that I want. There we go. That should do it. Uh, car status, all done. 1,700 payout. Nice. Level 3. 688 of 947 XP. That XP curve, eh? It's like playing World of Warcraft. Right. One skill points here. We can either have 50% faster part removing and installing, which, you know, not going to lie, that's useful. 10% uh, faster walking, not going to lie, most useless thing I've seen all day. And then this one, the 5% discount in shops, definitely going to take that one. Uh, the purchase after this, when we get our next skill point, it's going to be a split between this one and this one. Now, this one's going to give us faster removing it and uninstalling, but this one is going to give us a path test and repair table. So we're definitely going to be taking this one before we take that one. Well, let's grab that. That's going to give us a nice little discount in the showroom. Let's go to inventory and get rid of the steering rack. Or oh, we could... I'm going to leave them. I'm going to leave them in the inventory because when we get that repair table, which isn't that far away, maybe we can make some money. Right, poor brake performance. Brake problems. Controlling the car feels loose. Uh, that's a suspension problem. And then the story mode one is uh, I'm Roadmaster1234. That's what they call me on the internet. I'm a master behind the steering wheel in games, but now I bought a real machine... I'll show those unbelievers what I can do on a real road, so please do something with those rims, because they slow me down. Also, I think it's not right in the engine, it's making a strange banging noise. <laughs> Alright, let's take that. Let's take the story mode item. So basically this guy who's been gaming thinks he's a bit of a gaming driving god. has bought himself a real car. And uh, parts discoverable list is here. See if we can get an overview, see if there's anything obvious. Uh, so we know he's got a bang from the engine and he wants new wheels on there as well. Okay, there's nothing... It's not telling us anything at all. Is it worth a... Mm, is it worth a drive around? Hang on a sec. I don't think there's anything we can do at the moment from the inside because... Start the car, normal mode, drive the car. Yeah, we, we don't have the... Uh, the electronic testers. If we had the electronic testers, then... We could figure something out about his car, but... At the moment... Whoops. At the moment, there's nothing we can do. So let's pop it over here, and... Jack it up and start having a look. Now, I can see that he's... He wanted new rim specifically, didn't he? So if we go for... Examine. Can be examined by a tire tread tester. Okay, so it looks like the only way to actually examine the wheel is to physically remove it. Which is a bit weird, because you'd think you could look at the rim from here. So I find that a slightly odd. Let's have a look at the inventory. So if we pop that onto here. Yeah, look at his rim. His rim is on 22%, so we'll separate those two. 
And we'll go and grab... We'll go and grab the others, because he definitely said he wanted four doing... Well, he said... He said, uh, change my rims, so that implies all four. So we'll get that off there. Two, three, and four. I wonder how many jobs we're going to have to do to get up to 900 XP now. Okay, so that's all four. Let's go and separate them out. The fi I tell you what, the 5% discount is going to come in really handy. Because rims are not cheap. Like, tyres are fairly cheap, but rims are not. And I reckon we're going to be looking at like $1,000 for new rims. And that's going to save us... 5%, which is definitely worth having. While that's doing that, let me have a look if anything's appeared on here yet. Garage, parking, can't go to junk. Okay, nothing new yet. I can't remember when the barns appear. So we'll just have to keep our eye on that. Every time I level up, I need to go and check that to see if there's a barn available. Although we haven't really got the money for a barn yet, because in a barn you can actually buy scrap car and we don't have the money right four rims are removed there's still one two three four five parts which has got to be on the engine he said there was a bang from the engine so we're gonna to have to go and figure out what's going on here uh let's go for examine OBD scanner well that's useful but what about the, the fan side of things can be examined by an electronic meter can i just just look at it. Let's get the rad off there. What else would be causing a banging, I wonder? Uh, radiator's fine. Ah, radiator fan housing fan is br is broken. So we need one of these. Uh, the radius is fine, though. Uh, banging noises could be timing related again. Let's have a quick look. I can, I can see that this belt tension is completely wrecked. Yeah, that's completely broken. His roller's broken as well. Let's check if the belt's out. That belt's broken. That belt's broken. Let's check the crankshaft pulley. That looks okay. So wait, what are we after? Five parts? Well, we've got one, two, three, four here, plus the radiator fan is five. So that, I think, is all of them. So let's get the belt tension off. Let's get his... Serpentine. Nope, we've got to come out the serpentine belt there first, then that one, and then that one. I think that's all fine. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's everything. Okay. Now we can go shopping. So we want a. Let's see, sort by condition, which is one of these. That's name. That one. Right, serpentine belt A and B. Um, we don't want these sway bars. That's off the previous car. This is where I need a warehouse already. Because I don't want to be carrying these around, really. I kind of find it a bit stupid, really, because it'd be great if I could just take these and put them in one of these storage boxes. Like, why is that not a thing? You wouldn't walk around with all the stuff, would you? Radiator fan housing fan. Um, and a belt tensioner and an idle roller A. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Idle roller A, we can grab that. So straight away we get our discount. Uh, we've got a... Let's have a look for serpentine belt A. And serpentine belt B. We also want a belt tensioner. Um, we're going to have to get rid of our... Sold my name. My right, belt tensioner we can ditch. Idle roller A we can ditch. Need to get this thing in a second. Serpentine A is done. Uh, Serpentine B is done. They came off the previous car. So ready to have fan housing fan. And we need Rim Cl Classic 06. And they are 17 inch ET0. Rim Classic 06, 17 inch ET0. Let's go to the Rim Shop. And Rim Classic... 06 
17ET0. Actually, they're not as expensive as I thought, but it's still nice to have a, that little discount there. And then the other thing we want is the fan housing fan. Radius of fan housing fan is that guy. Okay. Radius of fan housing fan, that's the correct one. Now we've got Rim Classic 06, 17 inches. That's correct. Let's ditch one, two, three, and four. Let's go and assemble some wheels. We'll have to balance them as well. So we're going to go to here. Click the wrong option. Click that one. Okay. Yep, we'll assemble that on that. Take that. Uh, hang on a sec. Balance that one. Install that on there. Go. Take that. I keep clipping on separate. Grab that one. Balance up that one. Take that one. Install that. Okay. While that's happening, let's jump into here. Go into part mount mode. Stick the idle roller on there. Uh, stick that belt on there. Brand new belt tension is going in. So the time belt's going in. And quickly get back. Take that. Take that. To balance that one. While that's balancing, we run back over here. See if we can spin the camera around. Drop on the new radiator. Well, it's the same radiator, but then the same housing but a different fan so we'll drop that new fan in let's double check the status now so just the rims to do everything else is done Come on. take that and balance the last one rim classic 06 brand new rims boy definitely make you go faster How can he buy brand new rims and put them on this rusty, horrible thing? I'd get all the bodywork rubbed down and resprayed before I did this. Okay, it's that one. And the final one is here. And then the job is done. Nice. How are you then? Let's pop the uh, lid and finish order. So $1,500 payout, which we'll definitely take. Uh, let's see. We're on 708 out of 947 XP. So let's... Uh Order. Actually, no, I'll have to click on that. Car status finish. Wow, we're on 824 out of 947. That's good. $9,300. Is the phone gone? And you see how we're getting more jobs now, which is nice. So we've got poor brakes, brake problems, controlling the car, car is hard to control. So we're starting to get a mixture of brake and suspension problems. Uh, I suspect one of these will tip us over in terms of uh, mileage. So what car do we find? So let's take the, uh, the M6. Looks nice. Nice looking car. Let's grab that one. I reckon we can ding level 4 off this. If we've got a part list, a sway bar front end link A, outer and inner tie rods, and a sway bar rear end link A as well. Let's have a look. I can see them front side and rear left as well. Let's get it on the lifter. 
It's unfortunate this game's a little bit grindy initially. I think it's trying to teach you the basics and mechanics before you get in too deep, but... Unfortunately, we have to grind past this stuff in order to get to the, the juicier jobs and, of course, making our own cars eventually and find them on auction and that kind of thing. Let's go back to gaming mode. Okay, that one needs to come off there. Uh, let's pop over here. There, and then we've got outer tie rod and the inner tie rod. And I think the rest was at the back. I remember it was the back left. I think we found the problem. It's one of these two. I think it was that one, the sway bar. Take the wheel off first. Okay, let's have a look. So we have a sway bar front end link A, two outer tie rods, one inner tie rod. Is that what we've got? Two outer tie rods, one inner tie rod. And what <laughs> one of these is from uh, from the previous from the previous job. Sway bar front end link A and a sway bar rear end link. Sway bar front end link A is not here, is it? The front end link A is not here, guys. Let's have a look. There it is. Right. Now we're ready to rock and roll. Again, we don't have a repair bench, so we're going to have to basically buy new parts. So a sway bar front end link A, and a sway bar rear end link. Sway bar front end link A, and a rear end link. Uh, then we want to go for, I think it was two outer tie rods, and one inner tie rod. A little five percent bonus. Definitely want to get that in your uh, in your in your skill set as quickly as possible. The earlier you get that five percent bonus, the more it's going to pay dividends. Since we've got it nice and early, as quick as we could. You think about how many things you're going to end up buying from the shop in this game. Come on, camera. Okay, let's not do that. Let's go over here then. Right, there is the inner tie rod. And what else have we got? Outer tie rod. Let's get the wheel back, and then we've just got the rear sway and the wheel to put back on, and we're done. Okay, job is a good one. Nice, let's check the status of that. It is all fixed, done, and dusted. Um, I guess that's like, a, I'm trying to work out what, what car that is in disguise. It's got like circles as if it's an Audi. As if it's like an Audi estate, but it kind of looks more like a Skoda to me. Could be completely wrong about that. Not sure what you guys think. But anyway, that's that one done. So let's uh, complete that. So if you watch our XP, 840 out of 947. That should ding us over to level 4, I reckon. Oh my god, you scumbag game! 946 out of 947. Are you actually having a giraffe? Oh my god. 1 XP. How can I get 1 XP? Oh, you dirty game. Brakes. Car is hard to control. It just brakes all the way at the moment. What the heck is that thing? 
What's like the quickest, easiest job we could do? Oh, I don't believe that happened. What's the part list on that? Brake pads, caliper, and ABS pump. Right. I'm determined to ding. Level up. Can't believe that. Wow, look at the scratches on the bonnet. What the hell has this guy been doing? No, I don't want to move car. No, cancel. I wanted to overview car. Okay, his ABS module is there. Can we see which is the brake problem? Oh, it was, it was back... Uh, there you go, back right here. Hopefully it's just on this wheel. Yeah, this looks pretty nasty. Condition is that in a wonder? Okay, so the game's going to be a scumbag. Brake pads and brake caliper. So it's not that pad that needs sorting out. Is it that one? Hang on. Examine mode. 11%. There we go. Yeah, it's this one. ABS module simple enough. Okay, brake pads coming off. Just jump inside. And... Okay, so we've done this one before. Basically just drop off the ABS module via 40 different screws. Okay. Can't believe one XP. I just just disgusting me still. ABS pump and brake pads and brake caliper, I think it was. ABS. ABS pump. So you nine fifty down to nine oh two. It's nice. Brake pad. And a brake caliper. Come on. Put the brand new pump in. Job done. the brake pads back in caliper the new cylinder I think you should have to bleed it you know myself I think you'd have to bleed the brakes if uh, if you disassemble them I guess they decided not to put them in the game Should be it, I think. Yay, right. Now we can finally level up. Oh, we just did anyway. I, <laughs> I think I got XP for Discover It. Look, we've actually leveled up. I think I must have got XP because we uh, leveled... When we were doing things, taking part, cars apart, and we're discovering things that are broken, I think it was giving us XP for it. Look at that, though. Look at the state of that. Where has he had this car? Anyway, we just bust 10,000, and we also bust 1,000 XP. I'll take that. Let's have a quick look in the toolbox. We have one upgrade point available, which we can spend on this if we want to. I think we should. We can add the path tester and the repair table. Oh, yeah. Upgrades, baby. Look at this. We've got our own repair table. 
This is so nice. We've got all these tools down here that we can't touch. I want a coffee machine down here. We seem to be missing a coffee machine. And then through the doors there. Ooh. You remember this place? This was in the first game. You sort of drive in onto the rollers and then do stuff. And then you drive onto the rollers, do more stuff. And then you get jiggy with it down here. Oh, there's the path testing tool. More path testing tools. Nice. We're going to have to leave it there, though, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. We're, uh, next time, we'll hopefully get new jobs, new, more interesting jobs now that we've got some more stuff to do. And we'll also repair the uh, bits and pieces that we, we kept behind to see if we can make a quick buck. Uh, but that's it for me. Don't forget to give me a like if you enjoyed the video. Till next time, take care. Happy repairing.